everybody. Get my nine. Back at it. Back at it. So let's get into it, right? This is the problem. This is what I was looking at. Alright, so I have the Linnaeus. I usually don't want to deal with using the finisher in my normal play. So as a third word, third uh third wheel artifact uh decided to use the source shard. Got soul amplifier. Don't need grim and trans for crits. So the amplifier give the PI and nice hits great. It's a five percent of five percent card, seventeen hundred eighty five might. When it first came to the game, seen a video, person didn't like it. I was like, what? That sounds great to me. I got it. And they were they were wrong. Seen a video about the Lernaeus. That's why you could watch these videos where sometimes you need to come down here in a war room for yourself and test things out, people, okay? You get these videos, but still test them out, you know? So Lernaeus is uh is very good, right? At first, people didn't like it. It kills you. Okay, but the benefits is, is actually pretty smooth. It brings you down below 35%. Gives you Berserker also. And that thing is OP, right? It's OP. Now, when I don't want to deal with it, I was I was in um, the, the Legionaries thing. Seen my homeboy, uh, Green Lantern Vegeta. Haven't seen his tune for a long time. I said, hey, hi. I said, hi to him. I look, I inspected them. You know, I always want to inspect people. You know, you do. And I seen him with the sword shard, right? At the time, my third wheel artifact was, I believe it was the Grim. The Grim. And the Grim is very good. I think the Grim is a 5%er. Was it 4%er? I think the Grim is a 4%er, and it gives you like 700 might on top. That's beautiful. And plus, it sets up a PI for people. I didn't really need it, because I have Solar Amplified. So, I Amplified better than Grim, I believe. So some amplifier for munitions. So the amplifier trans and I had the grim. So I looked at his sword shard, right? I said that's right, the sword shard. I looked at it, look at that thing. Five percent might people. It gives you five percent might and it gives you twelve hundred seventy five might on top of that, right? The first thing you think of, oh shoot, I had had it before and I deleted it. You had to use a the, one of the powers in the power trait. But you don't have to. You, you don't have to use it to uh, uh, to let it take up one of your powers. I don't. I just use it for the extra might. I already have the trans. Give me crits. Got the solar amp. I don't really need the grim. The grim will be a nice one too. And that second edition after the first. If I needed a, a third artifact, I would use the amulet. If not the amulet, not strategist. Strategist is nice, but... It, it don't boost your mic up. I would like. I already got crits. I already got a PI going with some amplifier. So I would not use Grim. I think it's full. It, it, well, I use. I would use Grim. I would not use Strategist. Strategist would be like my fifth choice because Strategist it gives you the little um, give the damage over time thing. But I think you could do better with the Sword Shard. Even the Philosopher's Stone, because that's high might also. I think it's 4% and it gives you a lot of might on top. 1% of your might is real important. Again, when you start DLCs also, that Affinity Mod bonus. A lot of people don't pay attention to that. They want to boost up their CR real quick, but they forget to keep four pieces of Elite Gear on. One, two, three, boom, I got four pieces of them, right? You want the lowest piece to be... <clears throat> all right, I, I, I use my ring and so all the other pieces kind of high That one percent might it don't seem like much that one percent might is more than putting on that gear in the new DLC and going up in CR one percent of my might My might right now is at a hundred thousand One percent is a thousand a thousand might One thousand might no piece of gear one piece of gear will give you a thousand might so it's worth Remembering when you start these DLCs and until you get all your elite stuff, so you get four good pieces up there. Keep a ring on. Uh, they're gonna get rid of the rings. I'm not sure, but next DLC, keep even the old, the old, either the hands or the feet elite. 
that one percent back to the artifact cards. Five percent might. Twelve hundred seventy-five might added, and you don't have to use it in the power trade. You already have your crits. You already have your PI going. You can have Grim. You can have your trans. And then people use uh, even the EOG is kind of slick. I like that card, but the I did not use it because the might is too low. Now that's one thing, but they give it back to you. They give you get back that damage once you pop it, and you got that brown circle of EOG and you standing that bad boy. That is smooth and smoothness. I probably was actually wrong with that, but I like the idea of having the the innate might boost at all times with the sword shard other than that amulet is rolling but you have to use your you have to use your finisher and then you, you you're stressing up the healers and you know the tank is like you know you get people arguing at you probably but again that is the op one i would put it on <laughs> if i had a fourth slot i would put the linnaeus on and i would use finisher if i didn't have the linnaeus i would add not Grim, right? I wouldn't have Grim. Would I use the EOG? Maybe the EOG. Probably the EOG. EOG, Grim. Actually, Quizlet is kind of nice too. Could that, I think it's a 4%er. I think it's a 4%er or 5%er. I can't remember what Quizlet is. But, um, yeah, and just automatic damage going in. And it's not taking on a power trade. And it's either 4 or 5%. A 4 or 5% card is pretty good. Remember that. Uh, I mean, yep. And I wanted to complain a little bit. I don't know where you get rid of these voice chats. Oh my goodness. You go on settings, you take it off, and then you switch your army, it comes back on. You take it off, you take the game off, you put the game back on, the voice chat come back. Not that you don't mind talking to people, but there's a lot of tabs and sometimes you push the wrong button. And next thing you know, you're switching the voice chat. You have to go all through it and whatnot. What is the correct way? Y'all can put in the comments or whatever when someone sees it, sees this uh, video. How you switch the, the voice chats, man? How you take them off? How you delete them? And again, I think we need to uh, talk about this source shot a little bit more. And to you guys who already have it, kudos to y'all for, for coming upon that. Now, I would not add Quizlet instead of trans i would not add quizlet instead of grim or solar amplifier but if you could it'll be it'll be pretty fun 200 percent damage increase to your little pets that sounds lit because you want them ghosts and everything but yeah so i use sword shard for the extra mic i thought philosopher's stone was the highest but no i think sword shard beats it out I think so. I could be wrong, but I think Sword Shard gives you more, more might, base might, than the Philosopher's Stone. And I had, I had had that. I had Philosopher's Stone. I had Tech when I didn't understand Tech. Tech was a waste a little bit in Solar Amplifier. Took out Tech, put in Trans, and then I get rid of the Philosopher's Stone. I took Philosopher's Stone out and put in Learners. And then from learning is I said let me get something else because I don't want to always have to be worried about you know the health dropping down and stressing out people to people complaining so went through a lot of the artifacts deleting them and everything wasting time and money but sore shard I'm, I'm pretty happy with the sore shard results also that's all I wanted to talk about sore shard and how do you delete the voice chats DCU old people Get your stuff together, man. Get your programmers educated. There's, yeah, all those programmers need refresher courses. They smart. Way smarter than me. They smarter than I would ever be, but come on. We have settings in a game that they don't even work. Come on, people. And you have a forum. And a lot of devs out there. Type with some of these basic quality of life subjects. Real easy. But I guess y'all got stress on y'all also in that position that y'all have. Well, alright, that's Gamma 9. See y'all out there.